Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Clone Evolution. So today, I decided to do the episode a little bit faster, or not faster, earlier in the day, so that I could make it in time for the big limited events. So there's some limited events that are occurring, well that have occurred and are just ending. So I'm going to burn through a couple dozen scrolls in order to use them up and see if I can win anything. I'll show you which event it is right away. Oh, so it's not too bad. I still got seven hours. I was worried that I wasn't going to have enough time. Oh, and there's some new events that began today too. The bounty event. The infinite ring. That rare clone up event thing is ending. The hunting store is ending, and I don't believe I earned enough to buy anything in exchange. So my plan is to keep all these jewels that I earned, and hopefully be able to exchange them when the hunting thing comes back. That's my goal. Yeah, it's good that I'm creating a bunch of characters because I'm supposed to upgrade someone in the Darwin machine soon, but I'm one person away from doing it. So hopefully I get that. Now I hope everyone's doing well today. I know there's still a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world, but you know, the longer this goes on, I'm thinking we're going to make it through it. Although we did hear about that asteroid supposedly coming. <laughs> I was just about to ask, what next? <laughs> No, there's apparently an asteroid coming and uh, some three eclipses occurring all close to each other. And apparently when eclipses occur, it increases the risk of earthquakes. So to have three of them occur might get a little rocky. <laughs> yeah! Got a purple. That was pretty sick. I don't believe I've ever got an American bison. Shit, that was a good draw. And who else did I get? Green, lightning, fire. Hmm. If I could only remember who I was supposed to be trying to upgrade. Ah, there's some of my missions I didn't complete from yesterday. Alright, that's all the daily tasks finished for today. Now I'm getting the show done before I go outside. I've got a lot more stuff to do outside today. Today I think I'm going to be building a pool. I've never built a pool before, so it should be an interesting project. If anyone wants to check it out, I might even put a before and after video or a review about how I like the pool that I got. It was around 200 bucks. I figure that's a pretty good deal. The size of the pool is about 16 feet diameter. Hmm. Ah, I didn't have any robots. That's why. I was wondering how I had enough room in my lineup for all those new characters. Now since I recorded the show today, well I guess I'll probably still premiere it around the same time. Yeah, this was my plan, is I hope to use two of these heroes and upgrade one of them into a, someone new. I 
All right, let's do the last bit of scrolls. Yeah, check out Pumpkin. He's telling me <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that we have a new hero. Whoops. I didn't want to change it to him. I just wanted to see who it was. Let's check out the bison guy. Does anyone else have this guy already? Does he suck? Not in a good way. <laughs> ah, there he is. They bumped him right up to the front of the line. Immunity shield. That's interesting. Defense is increased. When HP falls below 30%. Well, defense is pretty cool. Although I prefer offense. Well, yeah, my plan from yesterday, too, is I'm still building a team that's mostly heroes that can just outlast people. Or not mostly heroes, mostly healers. <laughs> All right, let's try another gene bank. What should I go for, gray or brown? That was a really good brown, so maybe I should mix it up with a shitty gray, so they don't give me a shitty brown next. Or does that actually work? <laughs> no! Is that like the worst pull ever? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, every one of those characters is going in the machine. Assertively. Oh yeah, there was another thing that came up that I forgot to cover. When I was watching the the replay, I realized that when that guy, the viewer, asked me about the purple gems and I was telling him the best way to get them, I left out the best way. <laughs> it's because I actually forgot. <laughs> I blame the vaporizer. <laughs> No, see, there's this thing called the the bounty mission, and it just so happened. Well, why I got reminded about that is because a new one opened today. So you click this, and you can win purple gems here. I'm pretty sure that throughout the those missions, you'll get some purple gems doesn't show it as a reward here but you get multiple rewards as you go through maybe some of them are purple gems maybe not I don't know I'll have to confirm that maybe it's good that I didn't say this is one because I'll have to double check does anyone else want to post in the comments can you actually get purple gems in these expeditions pretty sure when you rob the merchant you get some right? maybe not No, I'm still sore as hell from yesterday, so my plan is to do some more fights for the next part of the video and to fix my camera so it stops not showing me. <laughs> no, I think what it is, oh, I had a little bit too low. Yeah, so I'll get some battles going. What reward did I just get there? Maybe that's another thing. Can you get purple jewels yeah you can get the purple jewels through this or gems 
or can you? Let me. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's because I already claimed it. Right, what should we start with today? Maybe a bit of dungeon? Give it a beating. <laughs> Holy, level 110? I didn't even notice that. Almost forgot to claim. Guess we'll keep the same team. Oh, I know one change. Watch, I bet you Peter heals better this way. Yeah, if anyone's in the chat and they need something to type, can you guys tell me uh, what level you're at? I'm interested. A lot of people are still calling me new. It's like, what what level do I have to reach to no longer be considered a new? So like around 200? <laughs> Like shit, I've been playing the game for months now, non-stop. At least a couple hours a day. You can probably tell that I'm playing the game a lot when I'm not even recording. Just from how much I've progressed. And there's no evidence of it. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? just one big boss you know what that means I should mix up my team and fight him again because really when you fight one big boss like this I notice one strategy that sometimes works load your team with players that attack with specials that hits one person People to hit multiple people, it's not really worth it. And if they have a special stun ability, because if we can keep stunning him, that'll be crucial in this battle. I want this guy in there, fuck. Alright, we'll try him once with this, and if that doesn't work, maybe I'll swap him out with the other fire guy. Today on the vape menu is the same shit I was smoking yesterday, or vaping yesterday. It's a sativa strain. It's averagely tasting. If I had to guess, it's probably one of the government's low-end strains. Maybe the four-dollar gram stuff. Now, did you guys notice the government starting to ro lower the prices down to the three-dollar gram range? It's just sold out. Now, some a lot of people I know mock the government weed, but. Really, there's so many different outlets you can get it from uh, Tokyo Smoke in Toronto. Anyone been there? I went to it. It was good. I'm pretty sure Tokyo Smoke is where I first discovered Atlantis. <laughs> the Atlantis strain. By Hexo. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I miss it. I almost want to just open the jar and smell it. Mm. Maybe I better not. Such a tease. <laughs> Ooh, what item did I unlock? Level 70 glove. It's pretty good. I was hoping for level 90 stuff. It's probably because I only got fourth place. I don't know if I'm getting shittier or more people joined our guild that are better than me. I thought before I got third. Yeah, none of the guild battles are ready yet because 
it's still too early in the day for me. I'm recording it before the next one. But I do believe I have some campaign options for battling. Or maybe I've completed those. Yeah, I've completed those too. If anyone hasn't seen, these are the two latest ones that I completed. And those are the heroes you can unlock for them. So that's what you have to expect on the elite mode. If you can make it there. Even my expedition is all caught up. Alright, so I guess that means before I begin anything else, or the last burning of the scrolls, and maybe a one more battle, we'll just get a message from our sponsor. Today's show was brought to you by Crack. Crack, it'll fuck you up. Remember folks, never ever buy a product from our sponsor. It'll ruin your life! <laughs> Alright, we'll get back to the scrolls. <laughs> Looks like I have one last section of brown scrolls that I can use. No! Son of a cockor! <laughs> no purple ones that time. I don't think I got anyone I needed. I shouldn't jinx it too bad. Maybe I'll check, see if I have enough. Who knows, maybe I'm cursing it and I actually got something that I needed. Hmm. So I think I need one more star character, and that's pretty much the only one I didn't get. Out of 20, no, 30 attempts. <laughs> How's that for odds? <laughs> well, it's not too bad, though. I bet you have enough to convert someone. Let's check. My hope is to upgrade some blues to purple. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is upgrade this person. I should check to see if I've already unlocked them. Maybe I'm upgrading them for no reason. You can see my team is just jam-packed with players again. So I'm going to have to clone up somebody. Or devour them. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I'll go right into some more action. Let's do some more battles. <laughs> well, yeah, I wanted to check the results too. See that Quin Shi Hong or Hong? I already have him. I'm pretty sure I even have two of him. Is that the guy that I got? It says limit of time 0 of 3, but he almost looks like the guy that unlocked. 
must be someone different. <laughs> Uh, too bad, eh? All the extra scrolls I burned didn't bring me up enough points. I think I was at 216 before, now I'm at 237. I need to make it all the way to 300 to get another reward, and I'm way off. But, hopefully what I can do is take the other viewer's advice, save up my scrolls, and then next time this mission comes, skip it, and then save up the scrolls again. So I'll have like a ridiculous amount. And then once you have a ridiculous amount of scrolls and you do this mission, you can see the rewards you'll get. Lots of 50 purples. That guy looks good. Is that the gin? If that's the gin, holy fuck. Holy fuck whore. Alright, so with no further ado, let's do a little test to see if we can find out if those purple jewels really will answer that guy's question. He was wondering, how many bullets they have? Only 208. That really sucks. <laughs> No five stars, but I don't want to burn up a whole bunch of bullets for nothing. So I'll play one of the four star generals instead of hitting refresh. If I had infinite bullets, I would just be hitting refresh until a bunch of five star missions came. Because technically that's how you beat these bounty missions if you want the most rewards, is beat it every time it's a five star. So you hit refresh, changes them all, and if you beat one of the five star ones, that one won't change anymore. But if you hit refresh, the rest will. Maybe I'll do, I have done a whole video on this before, but I want to do it again, because I love the expeditions. And I haven't actually completed it, so maybe in one of these videos I'll actually do it. Like I try doing it and always fail. Not fail completely, just not get to the good rewards. Alright, let's do it. Now I think second to the guild, this is my favorite part of the game. Oh shit, I didn't even look at my lineup. <laughs> Fuck. I remember when I used to do that and I had no one in it. <laughs> or no, I had all my weakest heroes and then I would just get my ass kicked. Yeah, this will be perfect for putting in Crime Fighter, because at least then I'll have another guy who heals himself and helps heal others. Seems like my stream is working well today. <laughs> I just hit the refresh button. What did it do? It didn't refresh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Can you guys hardly wait till I get that freaking tablet with wired connection? Like, isn't Wi-Fi wonderful? Like, why did it change? Why was I all of a sudden watching and playing the game perfectly, and now it just cut out? piece of fucking shit. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's a slow client detected. That's what it is. Ah, here's one of the other keys. If you want to be able to do this properly, you want to get as many points in per expedition as you can because it increases your rewards. And if it gives you the option between normal enemy and warp gate, I definitely go with warp gate. I'll show you why. Normal enemy, when you beat it, I believe gives you 10 points. But if you go into a warp gate, not only does it give you multiple stages, but it ends with a boss, and that boss gives you a bunch of points. See? Now I'm getting an elite boss and four extra levels. Yeah, I'm so glad I can move today. I was tempted to take Tylenol. It's 
kind of disappointing. I've, I, since going outside, I think I'm starting to feel sick again. So I'm going to have to quarantine for another two weeks. Fucking sucks. <laughs> That's what they were saying, eh? When everyone goes back outside, just be prepared that your immune system is probably not going to be as strong as it used to be. Especially if you isolated from half the year. <laughs> hmm. I remember when I used to work around sick people all the time, I almost never got sick. I think I got sick once in eight years. Hmm. Yeah, and that time when I did get sick, it was lasted like a day or two. <laughs> but recently, I don't know if I'm low on vitamins or what it is. Maybe this is just a really bad year that Flus, colds, hell, even the, the dengue flu I heard was killing people worse. There was a person from my city who died from that. I think she was on a dream vacation to Jamaica. Got bit by a mosquito, caught dengue fever. Died. It's terrible. But what I try to do to ward off insects is just use sulfur soap a lot. You're technically not supposed to use it all the time, but I do use it quite a bit. I like it because I'm outside around bugs a lot. When they smell sulfur, they just fly away. <laughs> it was invented by the, the ancient Ro Roman legions. They realized that they needed stuff for like bugs, and then they noticed volcanoes got rid of bugs. It's like sulfur soap from volcanoes. Kind of makes sense. Right? Another advantage to sulfur soap is that it kills different funguses. So if you ever have athlete's foot or something. I guess the disadvantage to sulfur soap is a lot of people became allergic to it over the years. Well, your body would naturally reject wanting to have stuff from volcanoes near it. That's why some people can't even use matches, I heard, because sulfur sulfur allergies. So you have to be careful if anyone has sulfur allergies. Definitely don't be taking health advice from me. I'm just hypothetically <laughs> debating. <laughs> right, the lost land. I'm pretty sure this is good. Here this whole time, I didn't use Crime Fighter. There we go. This should be a more efficient team. It gives, it gives you the option between Rob and Beacon. Beacon? It's making me hunger again for breakfast. <laughs> Beacon? <laughs> so I always go with the Rob. I forget what Beacon does, but I'm pretty sure it sucks. It's just like a less reward. Hopefully it's not more points <laughs> than I've been fucking it up by picking Rob. But I got more bullets here. That's a good reward. Holy shit, here's the vampire. If anyone's played the vampire. Same thing, visitor invade. Pretty sure... Visit isn't good, so I just pick Invade. It's been so long that I picked Visit, I don't even remember what it is. It was like yesterday. Well, I'm just <laughs> Now, someone was asking too if I do any pre recorded stuff for my show. No, it's like every segment part of it is all live. Well, not really live, I do record the whole thing in one cut and then just air it. I usually really suck at editing. <laughs> so badly so that no editing is better. <laughs> Holy shit, someone almost died. It was crime fodder. Is 
it's kind of sad right like crime fighter just can't handle being the the tank against the that person but I won't get rid of him for good oh here's a merchant this is another good way you get more points than normal enemy and you get also a reward for robbing him not that you should rob in search of rewards <laughs> in real life <laughs> It's like try to get that all out of your system <laughs> playing the game. Yes. All right, let's do another treasure box. Going for the rewards. Oh, I got more bullets. I think it does cost quite a few bullets to play each one. So if I got a whole bunch. Or did I pick break open or unlock? Break open. Oh yeah, there's the evidence. You can't get purple gems this way. See, viewer? <laughs> now, thanks for the question, viewer. That was a good one. It might take me multiple episodes to answer it. Hey, let's rob the merchant. Get all my robbing done for the day. One thing I don't like about Space Shuttle is it skips you ahead and you don't want to skip ahead because you want to go as slow as you can collecting points, but when it's your only choice. Fuck! <laughs> I like robbing him. Pretty sure the one reason I was robbing these <clears throat> is before they ask you to pay for the rewards. I was like, hmm. It's like I do paying for stuff enough in real life. <clears throat> At least in games, you don't go to jail for robbing people, so I'm like, hey, I might as well just rob that person. <laughs> I guess another reason to pay them would be so that you wouldn't have to fight them, but I like fighting them. Again, because this is a game and you get points. Definitely wouldn't want to fight them if it was real life. You lose an eye. <laughs> I think this weed is quite a bit harsher. It was almost making me want to cough. Might try that paper towel method where you put a little bit of uh, water on a paper towel, put it in a mason jar with your weed, and all of a sudden it hydrates it. Hydrated weed means it's a little bit dankier, and then it's smoother when you vape it, or even smoking it probably. I remember one of my dad's friends was telling me about that. Is that he would never smoke dry weed because it made him cough too much. I never really grasped what he was saying. That dry weed makes you cough. <laughs> or cough more. Other people I noticed talked about using orange peels. I usually don't have oranges laying around so I just use paper towels. I'm assuming toilet paper could work too, but that's worth more than gold. <laughs> Ooh, big meal time. This is where I'll swap in uh, Crime Fighter. Get them all boosted. 
No, I'm sorry I lost a little bit of my voice today too. I was trying to help my uncle. <laughs> we had a bit of a diarrhea accident. <laughs> I lost my temper and yelled a little bit. No, I apologize to everyone. Now I'm pretty good at cleaning diarrhea. I used to do it professionally. <laughs> I think I screwed that up. Who did I just take out of there while I was talking? Yeah, no one important. Now, when you work as a cleaner, that can happen where you have to uh, clean shit, right? Literally. <laughs> there we go. Now my team's looking better. Oh shit, it's the last guy. Let's do it. Can we beat him? Did I put Crime Fighter in the wrong position? Pretty sure I did. Fuck! <laughs> Son of a fucker! <laughs> No, my King Peter's health is ridiculous. See how many hits he took before he actually died? Ooh, that freezing was good. Kicked his ass! <laughs> Alright everybody, that's how you can see. If you want to boost your rewards, check that out. I got 150% of the board, so I got 21 fucking tokens. <laughs> Doesn't that kick ass? Can you imagine that was the purple jewel reward? Hmm. So now it says complete. So now if I hit refresh in the bottom right corner, this refresh button here, it'll use two jewels, refresh all these missions. But I kind of like the ones that are there. I'll beat the other ones for tokens. Yeah, I'm thinking for the next video that I do tomorrow, I'll make sure to answer any viewer questions. And I'll also do some more of these missions. The other one that I didn't do yet. Well, let's quickly check. That was the Bounty Hunter mission. You can see I got one completed. Here's some of the rewards I can get. Look at that, three red scrolls. If any of you guys... Our viewers are trying to get the the perfect clone scrolls. Here's a way you can get get them. Or for the gold heroes, there's ten fragments to make one. If you get the five star missions, twenty five of them complete. You can see that would take a shitload of bullets. Fucking shit ton. <laughs> yeah. So the infinity fight ring. That's what this looks like. Sometimes they give you some free challenges. They didn't yet. Betcha they will once the cycle resets. You can also reach those through here. Here's the monster hunting mission ending. And here's the new infinity ring. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Yeah, big shout out to everyone who's been subbing. My sub count's been going up and down like crazy. But I don't mind. It's like one way or the other, as long as I'm still allowed to make videos on YouTube, that's all I really care about. <laughs> Alright, thanks everyone, and uh, yeah, if you can check out my subscription links in the bottom, got some Patreon stuff and Hideout TV, it'll pay you to watch TV, like clips like YouTube, similar to YouTube style clips. Yeah, it's easy to sign up, quick, free to do, and they pay you, so definitely, if you can, check it out if you need any extra coin. And it helps me out because I get a cut and a referral. And no one signed up to it yet, so I'm hoping someone does. If anyone has signed up and I keep saying this, make sure to put it in the comments below. Because then I can make sure that uh, I get that resolved with them. Because they have really great customer support, so if something did happen, I could probably get it resolved like that. <laughs> okay, big shout out everyone, and talk to you soon. And if anyone happened to have a snail, 
crawl across their bong and it fell into the vaporizer and they vaporized snail escargot style you can give the video a dislike <laughs> unless you like that kind of escargot stuff but I'm pretty sure it's not healthy to vaporize it you may end up like me <laughs> alright take